In this presentation, we're going to visit Venn diagram and De Morgan's law. So what's the Venn diagram? Venn diagram is frequently used in statistics to display relationship between events in a sampler space. Sample space is the entire collection of all outcomes. So how do we make a Venn diagram? When working with probabilities, Venn diagram allows us to kind of organize our probabilities. We place the sampler space inside of a re rectangle. Events within the sampler space are usually displayed by circle. Each circle is properly labeled with the names as well as the corresponding probabilities. And keep in mind the sum of all probabilities inside of the rectangle should be equal to 1. Now what's uh, De Morgan's law? De Morgan's law shows a relationship between the union or an intersection and of complement of two events. Here are the results of De Morgan's law. Using mathematical notation for events A and B and the complements of events A and B, De Morgan's law says probability of not A or not B is equal to probability of not A and B. De Morgan's law also says probability of not A and not B is the same as probability of not A or B. Now to prove these two conclusions by De Morgan's law, we're going to go ahead and use the Venn diagram to achieve that. First, we're going to construct a Venn diagram with two events, A and B, and then clearly shade the event not A or not B. So here are my two events A and B inside of a, re inside of a rectangle, and I'm interested for not A, so I'm shading everything but A. And we're going to do similar work for event B, but we're going to shade outside of B because we want ultimately not A or not B. If we superimpose these two Venn diagrams, the only region that is not shaded will be the overlap of two events. So outside of A is shaded and outside of B is shaded. So the overlap of these two events are not shaded. When working with the OR statement, we take all the regions that are shaded at least once. So since we know that, we can conclude that the probability of not A or not B will be the same as probability of everything but A and B. So it's the same as probability of not a and B. So this was the first conclusion of De Morgan's law. Now we're going to do the same thing, but this time 
were interested for the event not A and not B. So I'm going to draw the event A and then shade everything outside of A for not A. And similarly, everything outside of B representing not B. And if we superimpose these two Venn diagrams, the only common shaded region would be outside of both events. And I'm going with the common shaded region because we're looking for the event not A and not B. So you don't want A and you don't want B. So you have to be outside of both events A and B. So anytime we're working with the AND in probabilities, in terms of Venn diagram, we take only the common shaded region as displayed here. So the conclusion is that probability of not A and not B will be everything outside of the two circles, which is A or B. So outside of A or B will be probability of not A or B. And this is the second conclusion by De Morgan's law. So let's look at this example. We're given probability of A, probability of B, and probability of A and B. We want to go ahead and construct a Venn diagram using this information. So you start by the overlap, which represents probability of A and B, point 2. You subtract that from point 7 to get point 5 for the rest of A, and you subtract that from point 3 to get the rest of B. But in order for the entire Venn diagram to be valid, we need to make sure the sum of all probabilities is equal to 1. That's why we need that point 2 outside of the circles, but still inside of the rectangle. So if we were to add all of the probabilities inside of the rectangle, we should get 1. Now using last example, we want to find probability of not A or not B. So if we shade everything outside of A, and everything outside of B, we're going to get something similar to the Venn diagram that we have here. But since the statement is OR, we have to take all the shaded region. So I need everything but point 2. By De Morgan's law, probability of not A or not B will be the same as probability of not A and B. Now you can use the Venn diagram to add up the numbers that are in the pink sections, or you can use the complement rule, which is 1 minus probability of A and B, So the answer is 0.8. So that's probability of not A or not B. Now using the last example, we want to find probability of not A and not B. So you shade outside of A and you shade outside of B, but since we want not A and not B, we only take the region that is shaded 
for both of them a common shaded region. What well, a common shaded region would be the pink sections that we have in this Venn diagram. So by De Morgan's law then, probability of A and B will be everything outside of the circle. Well, outside of the circle means probability of not A or B. So outside of the circle, we have point two, or you can use the complement rule and go one minus probability of A or B, and that's one minus point eight, which is equal to point two. I hope this presentation helped you understand De Morgan's law.